All right, what's going on everybody? So today we're gonna to try to do a toolbox tour of the green box. And currently I'm working on the Silverado here, doing some front end work, gearbox, idler, kind of quiet in the shop today. I figured I'd do a, a tour for you guys. Um, so yeah, we're gonna get right into it. Uh, inside the hutch here, got the MDT-10 scanner. Uh, I just kind of like the MDT-10 because of the platform. It's kind of Android-based, kind of used to that. Uh, I tried a few of the Snap-on uh, scan tools out. Didn't really like them. I always came back to the Mac. Uh, the Mac so that's what I use. Um, got some trophy pieces in the hutch here. A couple die casts. Uh, I got a smart screen. A little sound system. Play some tunes on. Um all my nut drivers and t-handles in there uh keep my multimeters handy uh in the hutch just to quick grab them and go um <clears throat> got the blue point digital uh tire pressure gauge there uh comes in handy quite often i uh, got some files quick go-to's up there um get right into the uh top drawer here it's my socket drawer um, a lot of snap-on stuff, not all snap-on, um, just kind of everything I've collected over the years. And I'm slowly getting all snap-on stuff, phasing out the uh, other brands to bring home to the garage. Uh, this is my work box, I guess you'd call it. Um, currently, uh, construction fleet mechanic, working on a wide variety of equipment, trucks, trailers, power tools, gas tools, um, pretty much everything in the construction field. Aerial lift equipment, forklifts, you name it, I've worked on it. And this is what I use to fix everything. I'm not gonna get into everything in detail, I'm just gonna give you guys kind of a, a view of what I got in the box today. Um, quite a bit of snap-on wrenches in here. Angle wrenches come in handy for hydraulics. Uh, I got some thin wrenches here for Mac. <laughs> um, crow's feet, big, small. Metric stuff on this side. Uh, this is the uh, speed drawer. I've set it up for punches and chisels. Uh, seems to work great for that. I set it up like this. You can kind of configure the little dividers however you want with the Epic Series. Um, I like these soft grip punches and chisels here from Snap-on. Uh, this air truck from Matco has been my favorite over the years. Uh, really grabs onto the, uh, the valve and holds on there tight. Uh, this one, not too happy with. It says you, It says it's supposed to grab onto the valve and hold on, but... Uh, not so much got some long race drivers here getting inside of axles and stuff they work great these are uh for taps and die uh, taps kind of like a ratcheting uh, for taps kind of come in handy from blue point um what else have i got in here mirrors magnets um lots of brass I like these little scissors here. These work great. Okay, on to the next drawer. Looks like we got Allen wrenches and torques, files, picks. Um, got a feeler gauge set there from Snap On. Next, we got a pliers drawer here. It's kind of a shallow drawer. I kind of just lay them out in there. Kind of works out good for a pliers drawer. It's kind of a miscellaneous drawer here. I got some longer ratchets and stuff and extensions back there. Vice grips, uh, pullers, some specialty tools down there. Um, got some wire brushes and detail brushes there. It's kind of a miscellaneous drawer. We got air tools. 
I got the big Mac one inch. Oh, that baby is a beast. I got the extended anvil half inch impact with the light from Mac. Three quarter inch Ingersoll. Mac air hammer. Uh, just some air hammer bits there. Miscellaneous stuff. Next we got hammers, big wrenches, some pry bars, big crescent wrenches, rubber mallets. Next we got screwdrivers. I got some brand new scraper set there from Snap-on last week. I haven't even used it. Got some trim tools in there. So we got a power drawer here. Got a lot of snap-on cordless stuff. 14.4 and 18 volt. Dewalt cordless. Got a good deal on that, so I bought it from the Mac guy. This is kind of just a junk drawer kind of miscellaneous random stuff I just throw everybody's got a junk drawer in their toolbox I guess not really junk just random stuff first cabinet we got a top drawer is uh, I got some hot glue guns and an epoxy and uh, some super glue stuff up there kind of just some miscellaneous stuff here i got a really small wire wheel set here put that on a small drill or something clean something real small works great uh this is a really small burr set from cornwell uh, here i've got tap and die sets here um, That's the Deluxe from Mac. Uh, that's the Big Metric from Mac. And this is the Big Standard from Snap-on. <clears throat> that's a lot of money in tap and dies right there. It's uh, my kind of my service call bag right there. Just fire a bunch of shit in there and go. It's a big bag, kind of like a big, it's got like wheels on it and a big handle, so you can just roll it on the ground if it gets too heavy. <clears throat> Another power drawer. Uh, I got the snap-on vacuum. This thing is uh, very powerful, goes through batteries pretty quick, FYI. More cordless snap-on stuff, couple chargers. A um, couple Cornwell bit drivers, don't really use them that much. Uh, looks like I got a heat gun in there and a 45 degree angle drill. Okay, down here we've got a. Uh, this is an impact set. These are all lifetime warranty. I think I got it from my Mac guy. Um, bunch of different. Um, bits designed to go on impact guns. Um, yeah, lifetime warranty. Over here we've got a grease gun, uh, the extension kit. Just different uh, needles and, you know, different angles. You can get at some hard to get zerks or whatever. That's a uh, double flare to a blue point. We've got a puller set from Mac. We've got a deluxe uh, hex bit set from Mac here. It's got a bunch of different uh, lengths, sizes, torques. A beautiful set. <clears throat> all right right here we got the snap-on ball joint set 
I see a lot of people have that. It uh, comes in handy, I tell you what. Uh, we got an air, airline crimper, tire repair, big soldering gun, terminal tool kit. <clears throat> Down here we got a power probe. I barely ever use it. We got a compression tester for commons on the like the 4BTs, industrial commons. Um, diesel compression kit from Snap On. Oil pressure set from Snap On. We got a grease joint revitalizer from Blue Point. That thing works great. Slap some WD 40 in there and blast it in. Uh, butane soldering gun. This comes in handy quite a bit. I use that a lot. Uh, digital caliper, little inverter from Snap On. This is a serpentine belt tool, Matco. I just got some a few things on the door, compartments there, some gloves, miscellaneous stuff. Uh, I like I really I've always used this um, butane for heat shrink and stuff, the power probe. I have the snap on one. I don't like it. <clears throat> um, never lights when you want it to. You gotta pull the trigger a million times for it to light. I don't know why. <clears throat> Alright, we'll get into the second cabinet here. I've got those uh, pry bars on the door there. Um, the magnets are from Mac. Super strong. Um, I'm always afraid about losing a, a bar when I slam the door. Haven't lost one yet. Um, I think those are the same rails they use on the trucks for holding like sockets and stuff. You'll see them on the Mac trucks. Uh, but man, are they strong. Uh, this is kind of like my diagnostic drawer here. Um, I've got a small Cummins analyzer here, kind of we've got an N14 in the fleet. Uh, I can pull up some codes with that off of this. Um, this is the interface for uh, my MDT-10, uh, uh, it's a Bluetooth interface. Uh, you plug it into the car, walk away, the tablet will Bluetooth to that and it's kind of a wireless connection. Which is a really cool feature. Um, this is a Mac trailer test kit. Um, this is just a bunch of uh, probe leads that I've made and uh, store in here for uh, troubleshooting. Uh, 30 foot test leads. Um, this is the battery uh, tester for the MDT-10. It'll also Bluetooth to this device and you hook it up to your battery and it'll scan and do a run a test on your battery and give you a little report, which is cool. Same thing here with the MDT-10 uh, CAN bus tester. Uh, it will Bluetooth to this device and uh, you can run testing on your CAN bus circuits and sensors. Okay, so it looks like I got a drill a drill pump here from Mac, fluid transfer pump. Um, here I've got the push button starter kit for Snap-on. Um, I use this for, uh, if I'm by myself, doing a clutch adjustment on a, on a heavy truck. Uh, I can be underneath the truck and bump this to find on the, on the, on the clutch for the uh, clutch adjustment. That way you don't have to have anybody in the cab. You just hit this and find your adjuster. Um, this down here is the snap-on, uh, I don't know, I call it a, like a pokey tool where you can uh, feed wires through it. You can poke that thing through a firewall or anywhere you want to poke it through and feed the wires right through the middle of it. Works great for that. Uh, here we have, uh, this is just an amps pickup from Matco. Um, this is the video scope from Snap-on. Um, uh, I don't know. The, the picture quality is, uh, isn't the greatest. Um, I've used a few different ones before. and um, This one is just mediocre at best as far as picture quality, camera quality. Um, Snap-on thermal imager right here. I love using this tool. 
Uh, it's a great uh, diagnostic tool if you know how and when to use it, the situations uh, that you can use it. Um, I've used it for finding um, hot wires, uh, short circuits, you know, the wires will get hot. You can pick them out real easy with this thing um, in, a, in a harness situation if you've got a hot wire. Uh, I've used them for finding radiators that are, have a clogged core. Um, multiple different uses for this thing. Love using it. So that's the diagnostic drawer. Uh, here I just traded this in. This is the snap-on radio. Um, the old one didn't have the, the actual radio. It was just kind of like a Bluetooth speaker. This one actually has a radio, which I thought was nice. So I just traded it in for that. Uh, one thing I do recommend is that if you have one of these, don't leave your battery in it. Um, for some reason, it just kills batteries. Uh, it will drain them down to absolutely nothing. And uh, I've made that mistake. So take my advice. Don't even, don't leave your batteries in it. Uh, here we've got, uh, it's just a brake bleed kit from Blue Point. This is a uh, micrometer set. Uh, this is a hydraulic crimper, uh, it does flares, uh, fuel lines, transmission lines, brake lines, uh, does a bunch of different uh, flares. Third power drawer, we got lots of flashlights in here. Um, <clears throat> I like flashlights and uh, flashing lights and stuff, so yeah, uh, my favorites are I have got some lights in here, we can turn them on. Look at that. So anyways, I like the flex lights from Snap-on. Uh, I don't know why, I just go to these right away. Um, they last a long time. The mid-size one, the single-sided flex light, is probably my favorite. Uh, the battery life is uh, excellent. Probably about six hours on uh, just leaving it on, which is pretty good for that, for that battery. Um, I got a bunch of different stream lights and stuff, all the snap-on lights. Uh, what I like about the snap-on lights is they all have the same C-style charging uh, like uh, connection, uh, which is great. They don't they didn't switch them up, and you can use the same charger. Um, I have the Mac underhood light. I like it because it, you can break it in half and uh, folds in half. It has sensors on it, um, motion sensors, and it's got a little detachable the flashlight with it that charges with the battery um got a couple head different headlamps that's a saber headlamp i like it because it has a motion sensor on it as well where you just kind of wave your hand like that in front of it and it turns on and off uh, i like that feature um i got a couple stingers down there from streamlight kind of got the snap on version of the stinger um they all work excellent love them super bright uh i got the old school kind of like an old school trouble light um two different styles one works with the 14.4 uh batteries one's just a rechargeable um my favorite light though is maybe this one is aside from the flex lights um this one's special because you, it has three different settings on it. Um, that's kind of like a soft yellow, kind of like when you're under a vehicle. It just kind of puts you in a good mood. Um, it's and then it's got a couple of different. Uh, it's got like a white light and uh, and then a blue light kind of. Um, yeah, I don't know. I can't see the back of it, so it, take my word for it. It's pretty cool. And this is the snap-on fast charge uh, LED. It'll charge in like five minutes to full charge. And this is the, the Streamlight um, switch blade or whatever you want to call it. It'll charge on the Stinger dock. So yeah. Moving on. This is kind of like the extraction uh, drawer here. All my extractors. Um... Cobalt bits, drill bits from Matco. I do have the snap-on re-threading kit, which has come in handy many times already. That's a nice kit. 
I recommend getting one of them. Uh, this is the three valve spark plug extractor. We got more extractors there. Um, quarter inch sets here. More bit sets. And we've got a rib nut tool here. Toolkit. Moving on. We've got torque wrenches here. Half inch beam style. 3 8 digital. We've got the snap on snap ring plier kit. Uh, a couple more bit sets here. Blue point and Mac. Adjustable um, bearing and seal driver. Comes in handy. Last drawer. Exhaust tool. We've got a hydraulic pressure test kit. And we've got some bearing and seal drivers. A big, big kit here. Small kit here. So yeah, this is the box. Um, I kind of made a backer plate for the bottom. Got some underglow. Uh, that, that backer plate kind of just cleans it up on the bottom. So you don't see underneath it and whatnot. Kind of cleans up the look of it a little bit, I think. Um, I got a few things on the wall here too. Um, still got my Christmas lights up. It's just after Christmas on uh, 2021. So. So that's the green box. Hope you guys enjoyed the tour.